in this session, we'd obviously talk about how we can check convergence from lead gen in unmounts. Okay, so let me open up first of all unmounts and also open up lead gen. So for this for this kind of video, I'm gonna re I'm gonna set up a new form unbounds maybe conversion test. So I'm gonna first ask for first name, I'm gonna ask for last name, and I'm gonna ask for email. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna save this. So that's my form. Now I can share it and I can check it out. So that's my form. So now I'm gonna go back to um, Unbounce and create a new page. So for simplicity, I'm gonna literally just copy this, this um, form inside Unbounce. I'm not gonna change any design elements or fiddle with it too much. In lead gen, I have to click on form settings and here I can change the thank you URL, but we'll come to that in a minute. Okay, we have to go back to the form and click share and then copy the code. So I, I'll use direct embed, which is easier than using hyphen. So if I choose a new page in Unbounce, sorry, I'm doing two things at the same time, but um, if you know what I'm doing, it will make sense. So if I add a new section here, or there's all actually already a section here, which I do use. So I'm gonna drop a custom HTML code block and then add this code block in here and um, slightly center it, expand it. I'm not going into the nitty gritty of formatting, but I'm sure you guys can easily figure that out. So let me save this and publish it. Okay, I'm gonna change the URL so that it doesn't follow our subdomain. I'm gonna use the default unbounced one, blank page 20, that's fine. And then I'm gonna publish this. Okay, cool. So we have the page now up and running and we have the form in here. So now the tricky bit is we have the form. If I press submit, let's see what happens. So I will enter my name and I'm gonna click submit. So obviously it says thank you for submitting your details because inside lead gen under form settings we have at the moment set the action to say show message and the message is thank you for showing your details but if you go back to unbounce we see there is obviously one person or one viewer on the, on the page um, which i don't think it has um, added because i've um, put my ip address in here so that it doesn't record my views but the idea is we want to see conversions here. So the way it can work is, first of all, I would create a separate page. So I'm going to go back into Unbounce and create a new page. And for that, I'm, I'm going to call this a thank you page so that once we know somebody has filled out the form, they can then go to this page. So I'm going to say Unbounce thank you page conversion text, conversion test. So that's the blank page. Okay, cool. So here I'm gonna say, sorry, thank you for filling out the form. So that this is my kind of thank you page. And go back and publish this one, but obviously with a, with a different name. So I'm gonna change the URL and use unboundspages.com and here use this text. Obviously you can change it at any point. So I now have a new URL, which is effectively my thank you page. So if I click on it, okay, I can actually publish it again so that it reflects that page. Okay, so once you have a thank you page in here, you need to copy this URL and go back to your original page where um, you had that lead gen form. 
So that's my blank page. I should actually rename it so that it reflects what I'm doing. Let me do that now. So I'm gonna call this unbound conversion test page. Cool. And in here now, we have that lead gen form embedded. I'm gonna show you quickly. So that's the page. So now I go back to lead gen and rather than sending or showing this message, I can send them to a URL. And the new URL is this thank you page which I just created. And I'm gonna save this. And now go back to my page, which has my lead gen form. So look what happens now. So if I enter my name, email. So when I press submit, it now goes to the new thank you page. It doesn't show me that message. So now we have a new thank you page. So this is all good, but it still doesn't reflect a conversion in inside Unbounce because Unbounce yet doesn't know that this was a conversion. So there's actually a script which Unbounce had shared. Um, I think it's called um, conversion script. Let's see. Yeah, conversion goals. Setting up multiple goals. Yeah, so this is the one which I'm interested in because we have almost like an external conversion happening. So what we need to do is we need to add a piece of code, which is this one. So I'm gonna copy this. And then I need to add this just below, just before the closing body tag. So I'm gonna go back to my thank you page. Which is basically this one. And in here, I'm gonna put this conversion script. So that Unbounce knows that we have a conversion. So just before the body end tag, I'm gonna say Unbounce pixel. And now save this. So this thank you page has my conversion pixel. Now if I go back to my main page, which is blank page 20, if I now enter my details again, so click submit, it now goes to the thank you page. And now if I go back and check unbounds, which is this one. Oh, for some weird reason, it's not showing up any conversions here. Um, let me cross check this. Okay, so the one thing which obviously unbounds um, documents in here is that you need to use it on your own domain. So for example, right now, I was using the page on unboundspages.com. And that's probably the reason it's not showing up conversions. So what I'll do is I'll use the exact URL, but under our domain. So to make that change, I'm going to use our domain, which is lp.apexure.com. And I'm going to call this one unbounce test. So I'm going to change this URL. Publish it again. Okay, so yeah, that has published. And now I'm gonna go back to my thank you page and put it under lp.apexture.com as well, which is this, oh, sorry, not this one, which is this one. Oh, cool, now I can see stats, which is good. So like, if I go back, um, yeah, that's very good. So let's change this. change URL to lp.apexture.com and I'm going to say unbounce thank you. Change URL. Okay, because we now change the thank you page here, we need to change it in Legion. So I'm going to copy this URL and go back to Legion and change it here. And save the settings. So now let's go back to the main page, which has our form. 
in Lead, um, in Unbound. So our main page is this one. And let me enter my details again. It submits and goes to our Unbound Thank You page. Now, if I refresh here, I see one visitor, but still no conversions. Hmm. Okay, let's go back and debug what's going on. Because on our thank you page, I can see using the Unbound tracking assistant that the external conversion script has been installed and everything is set up properly. Um, Let's go back. Maybe it takes a few minutes. Let's refresh it again. Oh, cool. Now we got a conversion. Perfect. Look at this. So we can now see there was one visitor and one conversion because now the form was filled in and the script was running. I think the only caveat is you need to use your actual domain. Before that, when I was doing this test, I was using unboundspages.com. Hopefully that should be resolved. If you still have issues, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.